I will be using Blender 2.83 for the demonstration, but you can use any version that you want. Now this is a simple scene with Suzanne and a point lamp and there are no materials in the scene yet, so let's add them. Go to file and append. Locate your shader file that you've downloaded from Blender Market and open it. Inside the materials folder, you'll find cardboard inner and outer. Select both of them and hit append. Let's assign the cardboard outer shader to Suzanne first and go into the rendered view. Um, you will notice that something is off. It looks hollow because uh, there's nothing below the outer surface yet. And to fix this, we will first duplicate our 3D model and then assign the cardboard inner shader to it. And it looks like this, no overlapping here because displacement in cycles is already done. But if you switch to EV, uh, which doesn't support displacement, you will have to do this step manually. Go to edit mode and with everything selected, press Alt S on your keyboard and move your cursor downwards just a little bit. This will scale the mesh down along its normals so there won't be any overlapping and you're good to go. Uh, when using cycles, you can change the displacement depth at any time using the mid-level value. And now that the materials have been set up, let's see how to use them. Now both of the shaders are fairly easy to use and we'll switch to EV for now so you can see the effects in real time. Uh, now starting with the first setting in the node, the axis value will define which axis to go with when drawing these lines, these stripes. So a value between 2 and 3 will go with the Z axis, a value between 1 and 2 will go with the Y axis as you can see. And a value between 0 and 1 will choose the X axis. The scale value decides how big or how small the cardboard and its textures are. And distortion can be used to make the stripes look more irregular and make the gaps more uneven. Roughness controls the overall glossiness and the creases setting will, uh, well it makes the paper creases look more or less prominent. Uh, the scratches setting controls the intensity of the scratches and the bump strength setting will control the intensity of the bump maps. Uh, now the most important feature of them all, the random tear input can make your model look more worn out and if you are using any tearing then the tear location setting can change its positions. Now almost every feature is supported by both Cycles and EV but a couple of them are Cycles exclusive so let's switch to Cycles rendering. And let's turn off uh, the random tearing for now so that this other effect is clearly visible which is edge wear. And what edge wear does is it gives a weathered look to all the sharp and pointy surfaces of the mesh. And in this case you will notice Suzanne's eyebrows and ears are getting more weathered and even the eyes and the chin and the mouth areas are getting affected by the setting. And please note that the edge wear setting will only work in cycles for now. And if you're using the cardboard inner shader then make sure that its axis and scale values match the ones from the outer shader. Alright, now moving on to some other stuff that you will receive with this pack. Uh, one of them is this cardboard sheet template file, which might be useful if you wish to make your models out of sheets of cardboard. And these are two separate meshes, which makes the thing look even more believable. Now under the modifiers tab, you can change the count on these array modifiers uh, to get a bigger piece of cardboard. And you will have to do it for both of these models. Now let me show you something cool, I have this hidden collection which has these four shapes and what I want is to cut these shapes out of the cardboard sheet that we have. So to do that let's first make the sheet big enough so that all the four shapes can fit inside. And I'm turning off random tearing for now so that it is less distracting. And to make the cutting easier I'm going to join all the four shapes together so that I can cut them in a single boolean operation. Now in edit mode I will select all the vertices and extrude them on the y axis so that they pass through the cardboard sheet like this. And with the sheet selected, go to the bottom of the modifiers tab and in the boolean modifier, pick these four shapes as the factor object and we do this for both of the models. Now let's hide the four shapes and voila, we get this. Let's go to the rendered view now to see. Uh, they look great, don't they? And even now, all the materials and everything else will work like how they are supposed to. 
so this random tier setting is working fine and i think it's looking even better than before so yeah this was a quick and dirty way of cutting shapes out of a cardboard sheet and making them look awesome with these shaders so if you make any models or artwork using these assets please feel free to share them with me and i'd love to check them out and feature them on my page and now this is another blender scene that you will get with the cardboard shader pack it is called three little boxes and this is just a demo scene so you can use it for anything you want really so you can use the lighting setup or the boxes as they are or just check how i've uh, applied the labels and the safety symbols so this is it guys the cardboard shader is now available on my blender market shop along with some other assets and materials and a small portion of all these sales will go to the blender development fund i've also made shaders that are free to download so if you're interested in them please check my instagram for more information i have provided links in the description so if you want to support me please check them out and i will see you in the next video happy blending and have a great day